There are plenty of situations in subcontracting and outsourcing that can lead to questionable practices. In this lesson, we'll review some of the most common situations that call into question ethical concerns. Let's begin with the definition of contracting, subcontracting, and outsourcing. Contracting is when you enter into a business contract to do work for a client based on an agreement of services. You present a contract to the client along with the scope of work and come tax time, if you are in the US, you may receive an IRS 1099 form as a contractor. As a contractor, you are not considered an employee, thus limiting your benefits, yet it also gives you freedom to limit your time with the company. Subcontracting is when that contractor assigns part of the work of a project or specific tasks to another party or person. An example would be subcontracting out the advanced coding part of the website build that you couldn't do yourself. Usually, the person hiring the subcontractor oversees their progress and task completion. Outsourcing, however, refers to handing off the work of an entire job or processes to another business or person. An example would be outsourcing the SEO for a website build. The business or person it was outsourced to would manage the process themselves. Outsourcing is typically not task-oriented or project managed by the original contractor like you see in subcontracting. Both subcontracting and outsourcing can be controversial practices if handled poorly. Be aware of how you position yourself to your clients if you subcontract or outsource. If you are positioned as a freelancer, it can be unethical for you to hire a subcontractor if the company believes you specifically are doing the work. For example, let's say you are hired as a freelancer to work 40 hours a week at $50 an hour while you fix a backlog of WordPress issues. Meanwhile, you hire a subcontractor for $10 an hour to do some of the things that are too challenging for you, but you don't disclose this to the company. Not only can this be unethical, but it could also break the terms of any contract you signed with a company as a freelancer. To help with this positioning, many website designers and developers present themselves as an agency. This is a more ethical approach to have the client understand that they are not hiring you specifically, but your agency which has other people working on their projects. When in doubt, disclose to your client that a piece of the project is a specialized task requiring a subcontractor. Or if leveraging outsourcing, let clients know you'll take care of any service offering you don't have in-house by outsourcing to another business you trust. Now, what about ethical concerns around hiring subcontractors and outsource teams? Because of the differences in cost of living, the cost of work can vary across the globe. Make sure to pay a fair wage for that type of work in that area. Make sure if you are going through a company that manages subcontractors, they are providing a safe and secure environment for their workers. If you end up hiring a subcontractor as a part-time or full-time employee, cover sick leave, vacation pay, and bonuses. Another aspect of contracting, subcontracting, and outsourcing is the legal requirements around data, information privacy, and non-disclosure agreements, or NDAs. There is an inherent risk when you hand over sensitive account information or access to people who are temporary workers and not part-time or full-time employees. You need agreements between you and your subcontractors or outsourcing teams that lay out your business practices and what you expect from them. Begin by presenting them with standard procedures and ethical practices. Have them agree and sign a document stating that they will adhere to them as well as a general NDA. Also use password managers or software that doesn't disclose the passwords of your clients. Make sure any delegated access is the correct level. Start with the lowest level access and work your way up. Also be aware of your subcontractors or outsourcing team's computer connection, along with what protection they have for internet security. Many security breaches will happen as a result of subcontractors being unaware that their internet connection from a coffee shop or passwords they create for client accounts are insecure. Now, what if you are the one subcontracting or being outsourced to? Devise your own standards and best practices, then encourage the company you are working with to adopt ethical practices when possible. Treat client data carefully. Make sure your internet connection is secure. If working from remote places like coffee shops, use a secure VPN and not the public Wi-Fi. Also make sure to store the data safely, being aware of the risks in shared cloud drives. Advise not to have direct access to passwords. If the company you are working for is not using a password manager, then make sure to use your own and then delete the information after your time with them is complete. Better yet, 
teach them how to use a password manager. Don't set up accounts with your email. Always ask for the preferred email for accounts. It's worth the wait and the back and forth for the client to have accounts set up properly and in their name. Document and disclose what was done throughout your time subcontracting or providing outsourcing services. This way the company can pass it along to their client and you can feel good that the client knows what was done even though you didn't communicate with them directly. Depending on where you are in your business, the one contracting with the client, the one subcontracting, or the one providing outsourcing services, it's up to you to help others understand ethical practices. Take the worksheet and answer the questions to create a document you can share with anyone you work with or who works for you.